You're getting your tubes tied. Why should I get my tubes tied? You should get a vasectomy. First of all, I don't know what that is. And second of all, no freaking way. <laughs> there are a lot of men that think like this and they are all texting in. Listen, whether you are or are not for getting uh, cut, that's fine. That's not the question. The question today is um, posed by my friend Teresa, whose husband is finally on board. He's going to get one next month. But should vasectomies be free? She's like, listen, we are preventing ourselves from having another child, bringing somebody else into this world. And uh, I feel like maybe we should just get it comped. And I don't disagree. I think that <sighs> it might encourage a lot more people uh, and a lot less people use the system, maybe. Jason, vasectomies being free. You down on this or what? Oh, Definitely. So, I've got a couple of friends that, I mean, they have jobs that, you know, they don't have insurance and insurance nowadays is kind of expensive and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually godfather to a couple of the oopses because they oh. were putting it off trying to save money. Oh, my God. You're for multiple children. You're the godfather to, to one family. No, a couple different friends. Oh, and, different friends. And okay. You know, your godchildren, you, yep. you refer to them as oopses often or only when you come on the uh, the big radio show? Well, nobody really knows who I am. So. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. So it costs the average person without Thanks, Jason. or with insurance, like between eight hundred and nine hundred dollars is what I read. So without insurance, I'm not sure how much. I'm sure you don't get it done if you don't have insurance. I feel weird about thinking about you know money coming out of my check for somebody else to go get snipped. That's what a lot of people are saying. Like either way, the money has to come from somewhere else. So Jenny, should we make these free or what? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There's no, there's no call for, uh, more children. Like you, like, was it Elena who said that, uh, just more kids being brought into the world and it doesn't, you know, the world doesn't seem to be looking real good right now. Yeah. Yeah. But what if one of those kids changes the world? You know how many people are probably walking around right now making a huge difference that weren't necessarily planned by mom and dad, but they loved them anyways and brought them up right. Yes. Yep. Oh, yeah. I do. Um, I've I've had uh, I've had a daughter. Uh, I've given her up for adoption. I've had an abortion, and I have two children. Um, and by far, the the adoption is so much better, and it she changed the, their world. She made them a family. But it's so you'd be willing to have money coming out of your check every two weeks to fund free vasectomies. Oh, why not? Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Fair you enough. know, they fund the methadone clinics. They fund uh, uh, probably Planned Parenthood and, and some, you know, I mean. That is an interesting way to look at yeah. it is, uh, you know, there's a lot of our money going to. Do we uh, ever really know, like, where it's allocated? We don't. We just, like, have can, it taken out. And, dig in and look, I guess, but most of us probably aren't every two weeks. You know right. what I mean? Hey, thanks, Jenny. I appreciate it. I got time for one more call real quick. How's Emily doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, would you be okay if you uh, looked on your check every couple of weeks and knew that uh, money was taken out for vasectomies? No, I think I would be pretty mad, actually. Okay. Well, just, what if it was just, just like $1 that. or $2 and you knew that maybe there was uh, a couple of people that didn't take sex ed in high school? Uh, it would prevent them from bringing a child into the world that they couldn't take care of. Because that's what a lot of people uh, are texting. I, just, I guess I just think that there's other ways of not getting pregnant for sure there's abstinence and condoms and there's places where you can get free condoms and i just think that if i if it was coming out of my paycheck paying for somebody's vasectomy i just yeah. i'm one of those people that think not like the word free doesn't actually mean free right uh, nothing so really just, is i agree you know sarah no. texted and what do you <laughs> Thanks, think of Emily. this well she said um it would be nice if infertility infertility treatments were a little less in cost. I mean, yeah. it's like tens of thousands of dollars crazy expensive. for for a couple to have a baby that they really, really want. And that makes me so sad. Like I have a cousin that went through too many treatments uh, and um, then finally just ended up adopting. And, and adoption is a great route to go too, but uh, I, I think it's just too much for IVF. Hey, somebody answer me this. Uh, thanks, Emily. I appreciate your call.